reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today on addition, subtraction, division of fractions. It says multiplication, but in this case, we don't have multiplication. So now the first problem that we're given are the numbers, the fractions 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 divided by 2 over 3 minus 4 over 3. So now if we can study the signs carefully, you can see that we have got a positive sign and a negative sign. These use the same concept, but the challenge is brought by the division sign. So whenever there's a division sign with an addition or subtraction, it means you have to be careful how you approach that. So now, how do we go about solving this? The first thing is, let us lose our, use our calculator so that we can see what is the answer and then we can work from there. So with our calculator, we're given 1 over 2 plus 1. It's 1 over 3 and then divided by 2 over 3 minus 4 over 3. And the answer that we're getting is minus 1 over 3. So now if I can write my answer here, we want to work towards minus 1 over 3 as the answer so that's that will be the answer when we solve that so now let us start by working on the problem that is we are given and the first part that i want you to focus on is the division sign if you remember we have botmas now what is botmas saying botmas says the brackets of you must start with division First, followed by multiplication, then you can add and subtract. So what you are given here, it means we must first do the division before we can do either the addition or the subtraction. So if you still remember, if I can put it on the side, if you are given now the 1 over 3 divided by the 2 over 3, remember you must introduce a multiplication sign and then the 3 goes to the top and the 2 goes down. You invert it, which is 3 over 2, so that you can cancel that to get a 1 over 2. Basically, that's what you'll be doing. So if we can look at this problem now equal to 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3. You introduce it times, then you invert it. 3 over 2 minus 4 over 3. All right. This is same as... 1 over 2 plus, because remember we said whenever you are multiplying, now you can cancel diagonally. So you have got times, we got a 1 over 2 minus 4 over 3. Now, if you look at the common denominator between 2, 2, and 3, you'll see that you get a 6. 6 can get into 2 and 3. So 2 into 6 is 3. 3 times 1 plus 2 into 6 is 3. 3 times the top, which is 1. Minus 3 into 6 is 2. 2 times 4. And then this continues to become 3 plus 3 minus 8 over 6. This continues then to become 3 plus 3 is 6 minus 8 over 6. So now if I can create a bit of space, what I have now, it is equal to, if I can, it is equal to now 6 minus 8 is minus 2 over 6, which is equal to now, minus, which is equal to minus, if you divide 2 into 2 is 1, 2 into 6 is 3, which is equal to minus 1 over 3. Now, if you still remember, 
this is the same answer that we got with our calculator so it means the port mass was used correctly so that's how you approach that now using the same concept now let us solve the given problem here what we are given you can see the problem is almost identical but the only difference now is that it's got variables which is x so in this case you are given your 3x over 2 plus because of that division sign we talked about what we need to do is we need to change it into a multiplication sign so it will be x over 3 times 5 over 2x minus 4x over 3 so if this continues the x and the x will cancel here because it's multiplying now so what you're going to have will be 3x over 2 plus 1 remember this is there is a 1 1 times 5 is actually a 5 over 3 times 2 is 6 minus 4x over 3 and then the next thing that you need to do is to find the common denominator between 2 6 and 3 and the common denominator is your 6 and then 2 into 6 is 3 and 3 times 3x plus 6 into 6 is a 1 1 times 5 minus 3 into 6 is a 2 2 times 4x this then becomes 3 times 3 it will become your 9x plus your 5 minus 8x over 6 which then becomes if I can create more space here this then will become you collect the like, like terms 9 minus 8x it will be x plus 5 over 6 so now this then becomes your final answer in this case remember I collected nine terms 9 and 8 they all have got x so 9 minus 8 is equal to 1 which is 1x and then plus 5 over 6 so then this becomes the solution to this problem we have come to the end of our lesson again watch out for more similar lessons as we keep on doing some revision concerning multiplication addition subtraction and sub, uh, multiplication addition division and subtraction thank you I reach out for my dreams. I reach out for my vision I reach out for help that I thought I needed Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion